Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Taylor Swift thanked her loyal fans for helping her achieve a new career high as she marveled on the success of her 11th album, The Tortured Poets Department. Following the news her latest record secured its 12th consecutive week at the top spot on the Billboard 200, the pop star, 34, admitted she was completely blown away by the feat. After spending the last three days performing sold-out shows at Belton's Arena in Gelsenkirchen, Germany, the Grammy winner applauded Swifties for what they've done to keep her album at number one since its release on April 19. I am completely blown away by what you've done, it stayed at number one for the first 12 weeks of its release, and that's never happened to an album of mine before, not even close, she gushed on Instagram. You're just the greatest. The cruel summer hitmaker also gave the three Gelsenkirchen crowds a sweet shout-out as she called them amazing and thoughtful in her latest post. There were signs and paper hearts, the Betty Wave, and tons of DIY willow orbs made out of balloons phone flashlights. Thank you, she wrote. On Friday night, hundreds of fans held up their own Willow orbs as she sang her hit track, Willow, Off Evermore. Her creative fans blew up balloons and used their phone flashlights to replicate their own props, similar to the ones Swift and her dancers perform with on stage. In footage, captured on X, attendees from every section, including the nosebleeds, could be seen holding makeshift orbs. Swift's in-house marketing team, Taylor Nation, shared footage of the fan project on X as well. According to USA Today, the number of orbs grew each of the three concert nights in Gelsenkirchen. Upon seeing the fan project, Swift acknowledged the touching gesture ahead of her acoustic set. There have been people bringing balloons to the Eras tour to make their own orbs for Willow, she said. I was cracking up the whole time. You guys are so thoughtful. The Tortured Poets Department marked Swift's first record to the Billboard 200 chart for the 12th straight week. Previously, her albums 1989 and Fearless each debuted with 11 weeks in the top spot. Her new record surpassed one held by late musical legend Whitney Houston, whose second album Whitney was previously the longest-running record ever from a female artist to debut in the top spot in 1987 and spend 11 weeks there. Houston's album, which featured the hit I Wanna Dance With Somebody, Who Loves Me, debuted on the Billboard chart for the week of June 27, 1987, and spent 11 weeks in the top spot, according to the outlet. The Tortured Poets Department remains in rare company in regards to records that spent a minimum of 12 weeks in the top spot on the chart. The others are one thing at a time from country singer Morgan Wallen, which was number one for its initial 12 weeks and would rack up 19 overall weeks in the top spot spanning 2023 to 2024. The 1976 album Songs in the Key of Life from musical icon Stevie Wonder stayed in the top spot for 13 straight weeks and spent 14 overall weeks in the top spot between 1976 to 1977, according to Billboard.